everybody, this is Kaylee with Kay's Wig Shop and today we're going to learn how to wash a synthetic wig. So a couple of things that you will need to wash your synthetic wig. A wide tooth comb, a synthetic shampoo, a synthetic leave-in conditioner, a drying rack, and a towel. Before we get started, just make sure whatever product you're using is made for a synthetic wig. You want to use the best product to take care of your wig the best way. So here's our wig today. We're going to give her a wash. Before you rinse her out, what you want to do is take your wide tooth comb and gently comb out any large tangles. Just kind of doing an overall wide tooth comb brush to get any major tangles out. Really focusing in this nap of the neck area. This is where a lot of tangles tend to happen with the synthetic wig. After you get it nice and combed out, you're gonna go to your sink and we're gonna run her under lukewarm temperature. Go ahead, just put your wig right underneath the faucet, getting her nice and wet, letting the water run over the hair in this direction of the hair. Now this wig has a lace front up here in the hairline. You wanna be very delicate with this material. So I'm not tugging or pulling or not even letting the wig hang on my thumb. I'm grabbing back here in the back of the cap. If your wig doesn't have this material, no need to stress about that. I am getting the inside of the cap nice and wet as well. And then just making sure the ends of the hair is wet. Now one thing that I don't like to do personally is put it in the basin and swoosh it around in the water. What that can do is cause the hair to tangle. I like to hold on to it, allowing that water just to run right over in the same direction of the hair so it stays nice and tangle free. You're gonna take your synthetic shampoo, and I like to get for a length like this, a palmful. If you have shorter hair, obviously you're gonna use a little less. Great. So taking your wig, again from the inside of the cap, taking your wig shampoo and just gently massaging that shampoo throughout the hair. Now one thing that I'm not doing is I'm not scrubbing vigorously like this. What I really want you to do is keeping the hair in the direction that it's supposed to be and massaging that shampoo throughout it. Just getting her so she's nice and sudsed up. Then coming up here into the crown, again, just keeping it in the direction of the hair. I'm not scrubbing again vigorously. I'm just gently massaging this through, getting it so it is nice and clean. I'm being very delicate with this lace front material. Then I'm going to flip the wig inside out, and I'm going to make sure the inside's clean as well. If your wig is feeling itchy, it may be that your inside is not clean. You need to make sure that you're cleaning the inside as well as the outside. The inside, I like to do a little bit of scrub just to get all of that sweat or makeup or anything that may be on your cap. Really paying attention to the sides where you're touching a lot and in the nap of the neck where we tend to sweat a little more. And then if you have a mono top, this is called mono top or lace front, gently getting that to be clean as well. Remember, biggest key with this material is to be as delicate with it as possible. Wonderful. So she's looking nice and clean. You can usually fill if you have any residue on there. You might want to, you know, massage it a little more if you have any hairspray concentrated in one area. Um, but basically, just like our own hair, 
after it's all suds up, we're gonna rinse that out. So again, bringing our temperature to lukewarm, and then letting that water run right over it in the direction of the hair. So very simple, don't be afraid. You really can't hurt while you're washing your wig. I have lots of people who get worried that they're gonna ruin their wig by washing it. And it's kind of the opposite. Your wig will tend to wear out quicker if you're not washing it as often as needed. So we're just getting all the suds out. Just searching for any areas that look like they might have a little bit of soap. It's looking really nice. Then you want to flip it inside out so you can wash the inside as well. You don't want any residue to be on this area in the um, inside because that can cause you to be itchy as well. Beautiful, she's looking great. Excellent, so after you've rinsed out all of the suds, I like to kind of give it a good squeeze with this being such a long style. You're gonna bring it into your towel. And you're just gonna gently blot it inside the towel to keep it um, from being soaking wet. So I just like to gently blot it. I'm not scrubbing it again vigorously. I'm just gently getting that excess water off of the wig. Okay, now this next part is gonna be a little different. And what I want you to do is go into your bathroom. So you can do this in your shower uh, or somewhere that you're not gonna mind getting water. Now at my business, I don't have a shower, so we're gonna go outside and do this. I've stepped outside and you've stepped into your bathroom. You're gonna take your wig, taking it from the nap of the neck, and we're gonna gently just shake this. For something this length, I'd go about five times. But see how we're getting this excess water out? And what this'll do is actually lift the top of your wig up so it's gonna create that volume. This is great for any style that's short and has a lot of layers. It really helps lift it up at the root. So after you've done this in your shower, you are good to go back and we'll go back inside. <laughs> Alrighty, so we've shaken our wig out. We're back here. The next thing that you're gonna do is take your leave-in conditioner. This stuff is gold. This is the stuff that's gonna keep your wig looking really good. Um, so don't be afraid to overdo it with this. Really focusing here in the back and on the sides. Those are areas that get a lot of friction from us touching the front or this rubbing up against our back. So we really wanna make sure that's nice and conditioned. And then going throughout the rest, getting it to where it's conditioned. Don't be afraid, you can also do up on the top, but really focusing down on the ends. So kind of gauge from what you think that your wig might need, but again, really focusing on the nap of the neck and the areas that are getting touched on your face and with your hands a ton. Um, after you've done that, then you can just go ahead and put her on your drying rack. Now, if you don't have a drying rack, you can put her on a mannequin head of some sort. Drying racks are great though, because they allow the wig to dry quicker and they don't stretch the cap out. If you have a large mannequin head and you're putting your wig on it while it's wet, it can stretch it out. So just pay attention to that. So now the next step is the waiting game. We're gonna just keep her here for about an hour as she dries. Okay, so an hour's gone by, your wig should be dry by now. So go ahead and get your white tooth comb and we're gonna brush her out. So I'm gonna take her off of our wire rack. I'm gonna put her on my mannequin head so you can see this a little easier. Alrighty, so you can go ahead and start brushing her from the bottom up. She's starting to look really beautiful. You can see the style comes right back. I haven't done anything to create this flow again. And that's the 
awesome part of having a synthetic wig. Synthetic wigs will tend to have this going on. This is frizzing. This is due to combing too much or having too much friction. Don't worry about that. It is common and natural for that to happen with this type of fiber. Something that I suggest doing is taking it to a wig professional every three to six months and they can smooth those out for you, allowing your wig to last you a lot longer. But here she is, she's starting to look absolutely gorgeous. And that is as easy as it is. You shouldn't have to stress about washing your synthetic wig. It's very easy. You can do it, I promise. But I do wanna tell you a couple last things just to keep in mind on how to care for your synthetic wig. Three main roles. First, no heat. That includes blow dryers, curling irons, even the oven door. You want to avoid any kind of high heat. Remember, if it's hot enough to burn your finger, it'll burn your wig. Second rule, use a wide tooth comb as often as possible. Um, this will prevent those frizzes from happening, so use this as often as possible. Third is use synthetic product. Make sure it's made for the type of hair that you have. That way it'll keep your wig looking just as brand new. And if you found this video helpful, make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching everybody. Have a great day.